and gentlemen, dear plebeians, if I may introduce myself, my name is Monsieur Miro. I am a professional hypnotist and a fortune teller. I am going to guide you through the realm of the imagination. From now on, there is no way back. Look deep into my eyes. Deeper. And now, in my words, I am going to put the entire content of my purse into this machine. <laughs> and now, the game begins. Hey there, sleepyhead. Aw, look at her. Isn't she adorable? Well, little girl, all alone in the dark? Your parents? They left the park hours ago. They're gone. Said something about spending the future childless and stuff like that. It's okay, who needs parents anyway? <laughs> joking, I'm joking. They're dead. <laughs> all right, all right. Tough crowd, I see. No idea where they are, but I could help you get out. The entire park is fenced off and locked up. Maybe you should try the main exit first. It's getting closer. When I say now, you light it up. Now! That a small scared stuffed bunny! He seems to know you! Don't you remember him? How rude! You thought this was the main exit? You are so cute! The main exit is not the main exit. Everybody knows that. The main exit is the big portal at the center of the park. The one that looks like a giant moon. Ugh. <sighs> to avoid any more stupid confusions from your side, I'd say we settle on a scientific term, moon portal. And now, shoo shoo, go forth. <laughs> speakers and cameras everywhere, so I'm going to stay by your side wherever you go. But don't take too long. The darker the night, the more vermin leave their holes. For heaven's sake, the path is blocked. Luckily, I know that somewhere around here, there is a key. You will have to find it. But this clearly exceeds any of your abilities. So, I'm going to give you a little hint. Else you will be searching forever. The key is very close to me. And still so far away. going to get rid of me that easily. I will stay close to you, wherever you are. I mean, after all, I am part of you. I am part of head.
are still alive. Well done. Come closer, my sweet child. For another coin, I'm going to tell you the fantastic story of the fabulous Monsieur Nero. Enter my mouth. Once I was a young actor and a hypnotist at a fun fair. Handsome, charming, you know. With my set of skills, I was able to let people do anything. The money just flew out of the visitor's pockets into mine. One day, a dirty rack a little lady approached me. I am sure she was a witch, envying my skills and my handsome good looks. She cursed me. She turned me into this wooden mannequin, damned to sit in this glass box for eternity. She said I'd become human again as soon as I show regret and empathy for mankind. First, I had to cope with the fact that I lost my perfect body, but then I started to see the advantages of being immortal. And I was able to extend my power. And of course, my fortune. But it gets better. I found someone to hunt down the witch and burn her. Thank you so very, very much for this entertaining and refreshing glimpse into your mind. Congratulations! You are alive. You got away. You faced your fears and saved your little friend. Could not have gone any better, right? Right? By now you should have realized that your friend is more than just a stuffed animal. Well, maybe not. You don't look so smart. Anyway, I am going to count down from three to one and you will open your eyes. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> 